Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Travis Dykes here again. Today, we're going to be talking about beginner shouting techniques. All right, this is like something I haven't done before, but basically, if you've never heard of what shout is or, you know, never played it in church on bass or anything, this is, the, this is your video, okay? So, basically, what is shouting? Shouting in a church, in a church sense is going to be, it's like um, where the congregation starts really thinking about what God has done for them. And they just like, whoo, mm, I can't let I can't let it stay inside. So they just start, let it go. They just, mm, they feel it. You know, a lot of times you hear this in black church. And the way it usually starts off is like this. So you know, the band comes in on the one. They're going to that three, four, sharp, five. And that is shout. All right, so that's what we're going to be going over today. Today we'll be in the key of A flat. But um, what we're going to do is we're just going to take it from the beginning. Basically, um, with shouting, there's pretty much two uh, runs that I come across a lot of times in the sh when shouting. Um, one is the, you know, the normal just kind of shout where everybody's, you know, you just kind of just go in. Like... You know, that's the, the normal, you know, just kind of going in shout. Is minor, um, but there's another one that not a lot of people I don't think talk about. But it's like the old school kind of just like it's kind of major and it's not it doesn't really feel like like exactly like this. But it's it's walking from the one to the five rather than the one to the four. So it'd be like. And the way you where you hit this mostly is like stuff like. stuff like that that's usually what you hear that in um so i'm going to show you how to do both of these they're pretty simple and i'll give you a little something to spice it up because after you learn this you go oh this is so simple i want to learn something new so i'll give you both both some the the foundation and a little bit to build off of all right so first we're going to start off with the first note which it usually starts off with a flat if you're in key of a flat or if you're in the a it'll be the one of a which would be a but we're in A flat, so the one is A flat. Um, so I'll try to do this um, in numbers and um, notes. So if you if you're numbers, you can pick it up too. You can pick it up quick. All right. So the way I start off, we did that whole little intro thing. All that is is three, four, five, or three, four, four sharp. Five, if you know your numbers. Now for notes, it would be C, C sharp, D, D sharp. Okay? And that's that first part. And this holding on that, that D sharp or five. And then waiting for the loop to come in. And then you go into the... So what that is, is just, you're just going three or C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and then F, F sharp, G, G sharp or A flat, okay? So this. Okay? And so if for numbers right here, it would be six, seven flat, seven, one, okay? This is this is the one that you can do. Can't okay, nobody do like this too. It's kind of it's major, you know. You know you can that you hear a lot of old school just kind of bumps, old school bumps like that. Um, 
Now, here's the there, there's the other one. This is gonna be um, that's all. This is also the intro to going into the other one. So it goes to that five. And when, the way it shifts, instead of walking to this note right here, it starts walking to this note, which is the four. So the reason why it sounds different is because it's got this flat three in there, which makes it sound minor rather than major. Okay? So, so what we're going to do is going to do A flat, B flat, B, C, C sharp. If your numbers one, two, two sharp or flat three, three, four, and then you're just gonna go back to this one. Um, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, or A flat, or six, flat seven, seven, one. Okay, and so that's the whole run. It usually starts on the one, so and then starts on the just like that. right hand all I'm doing is I'm alternating back and forth so uh. just going back and forth okay and that's that's the those are the two basic ones but what I'm gonna do to give you a little actually let me just play it with the loop so you just hear it so, what we just learned so So what I did right then when I went up like is I'm just doing the octave. So basically these are the same notes, just an octave higher. So what an octave is, is just this it's the same notes, just higher, pretty much. It has a little bit of a different sound, but it's the same, same exact notes. So so just like what I do, A flat, B flat, B, C, C sharp, it'd be A flat, B, B, or B flat, B, C. transition to that is like go here when I go that four I'll walk up right there so 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 basically I do the first half of it and then I do the next half of it on the next string so it'll be like basic part now this is this is still basic but this is just to add on a little bit all right so something simple to add on we do I, I like to call it like um, uh, drop one drop two pretty much all right so what it's gonna be it's gonna be So what I'm doing is basically I'm dropping one note. The reason I call it drop one, drop two, is because I'm playing. I'm gonna play it. This first part normal. You know, A flat, B, B flat, B, C, C sharp. Then I, when I go to this F, and start the next one. I'm gonna the drop one. I'm just gonna drop one note. Just kind of substitute one note for another note. So it'd be like. I'm doing instead of going to that G, I'm going to a B flat. So it'd be a F, F sharp, B flat, A flat. Come back to that A flat, just keep it going. F, F sharp, B flat, A flat. Okay, all right, and now that's it for that. So. substituting that for this instead of playing that G I'm still putting that B flat all right now drop two is you know pretty much what you think it is it's you're gonna drop two notes 
substitute two notes rather than playing those two. So it'd be. Uh, So all that is is normal, the front end, and then F, B, B flat, A flat. So you're substituting the F sharp and G. So B, F, B, B flat, A flat. So. Is you want I, well, the way I practice it a lot of times is I first started off playing drop one first, just drop one by itself, and then start trying to add drop two every other time. So drop one and then drop two. start doing that and getting used to it and you can work it into your shout it doesn't take anything from it, it just kind of adds a little something that's not that's not just you know the normal just those four notes just kind of gives a little bit of a little something extra but what i want you to do to take it up a notch is you know how we just talked about the octave i want you to try and practice this on the octave too so That's pretty much it. Um, the way you transition that is pretty much, oh, yeah, the way you transition the drop two, drop, drop two, drop one thing going up an octave, it'd be like, just like the way you do it um, with the other, the other, just doing a normal, the way you transition like I just showed you earlier. So it'd be like, doom, doom, doom. Anyways, I hope this video helps. Um, if you have any questions, need me to explain something a little bit further, feel free to message me, hit me up. Uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, this helps you guys out. Uh, subscribe, like the video, let me know what else I can teach. Thank you guys, love y'all.